yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, man. Floor it. Yeah. Whoa! Man, that's fast. Welcome to Hard Rooster Labs. I'm Hard Rooster, and this is yet another way too long video stream. In this nine-part video series, I cover in depth the creation of a car body for Automation, the car company tycoon game, and more specifically, this body that you see here in BMNG with me behind the wheel doing my damnedest to keep 450 horsepower under control. This car is inspired by the AC Ace and Shelby Cobra, and I'll show you how I pulled off both looks and more with just one body style. The key to good body creation and automation is giving you the freedom to just make a clone of the original, as I've done here, or go your own way and make something completely unique. Creativity is the name of the game in automation, and it is the name of the game in body creation as well. These videos expand upon my previous series and covers the new features we were looking forward to, like the acceptance of Blender naming conventions in the Unreal Engine, and shape keys. Unfortunately, since shape keys are so new, I haven't developed a solid workflow for them just yet, so I'll have to do yet another stream series in the future once I get that all worked out. Nonetheless, shape keys are covered, and you get to see them applied and functioning in the game. As mentioned before, uh, Blender naming conventions are now recognized, so you no longer have to rename your mirrored bones to meet the 3DS Max naming conventions. I'll once again reach out and thank Jay and Hamish of the dev team for making all of these new features happen. There is a lot of useful information in this video series, and the series is, again, timestamped to help speed you right along. Make sure you take note of them, and don't get bogged down in some of the areas that I got bogged down in. Uh, there are some things that are redundant, and there are sections where I'm having hardware and driver-induced crashes. Uh, but nonetheless, there is some very useful information in here. And as I promised in the last video, I made the effort to slow down and explain what I was doing, and I used a shortcut viewing plugin so you can see what keys I'm pressing. That plugin is still not quite working right, but it's better than nothing. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind that uh, I have rebound my uh, middle mouse button to the tilde key. So in this series, you'll see a lot of accent grave popping up, which for you just means middle mouse button. Uh, I only recommend rebinding the middle mouse button if you're like me and you have some tendonitis, repetitive stress injury. But it's not from computing, it's from decades of blue collar work as an aircraft mechanic, an auto body man, painter. Uh, so don't bother unless you have some like health issues like I do. Um, and as before, I'll put links in the video description below in case you're new to Blender 2.8 to help you learn how to model as what you'll see in here is a little more intermediate level stuff, so you'll really need a decent foundation in Blender uh, if you really want to follow along. Uh, if you already know your way around modeling, and you just want to see how to export your body into Unreal and set it up, uh, you jump ahead to video 9. Uh, but if you want a more comprehensive guide on how to model a body for the game in general, then feel free to follow along from start to finish. And if you have any questions along the way, just leave some comments in any of the relevant videos. And if you find this series helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so more people can see this content and hopefully uh, it'll help them as well. In any event, uh, thanks for watching and enjoy the series.